So as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, all right? So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you, all right? Feminine, I see that you and your counterpart are healing right now, okay? Doing the healing work, whatever that means on your end as well as on therein the work is being done all right the work is being done someone has learned and completed their lesson here with the lessons card coming out okay and they are ready for union someone has been preparing themselves for union and they feel ready all right feels good to me all right let us see you guys let us see let us see let us see all right, we have rise above. You and your twin are in this energy of finding the strength, the courage to rise above the obstacles, the challenges, the pettiness, the drama, the whatever may be going on around you. All right, it does not have to be going on within. Yeah, release. Okay, you're letting that go so that the two of you can enjoy the connection. Um, both of you are open and ready to receive what it is that spirit has here for you. Okay, a lot of love. Okay, you and your person both have a lot of love to give. You have a lot of goals, a lot of things that you want to accomplish. So do they. Okay, we have free will. You're taking the free will jump. So is your person. Okay, leap of faith toward this connection. Okay. It says, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. You're letting that go. Being open-minded, abundant, and ready. This could also be your twin. They could have been someone who were was very pessimistic, okay? But they realize this is their time to receive true, genuine love, okay? Choices, decisions, contact, action cannot be forced, okay? So maybe you weren't seeing anything from them for a while, but because you allowed them the space to do what it is they want to do, you're going to see what it is they want to do okay we have creativity so either you or your person are very very creative this could be something that they really like about you something you really like about them all right you inspire one another to be more productive okay and when you're not speaking to each other you both feel lost and incomplete okay now granted you are a whole all on your own but it's something about being connected to this person that empowers you and makes you feel better and this is how they feel all right once upon a time they ran they are done running. They were running due to insecurities, okay? But this is confirmation that this is your twin flame. So, yeah, they were running due to insecurities or something like that, but they have found them true selves again, okay? They were worried about the material world, okay? They were building themselves up there as they should. We are here on this earth, right? So, they wanted to make sure they were stable and secure. They've done that, okay? Money, career, status. Now, what's missing? True love, okay? So, yeah, we have summer. It's time to see the sunny side of the situation. Start looking at the bright side of things, okay? What is going on with you you all right now? What is happening with you all right now, all right? Something about the summer could also be significant, okay? In journaling, this person has been contemplating their feelings and emotions for you. And with doing so, they realize that, you know what? I just surrender. I surrender to this love. I want this love. You know, I want this to be so... They're surrendering. Or again, this could be you. Put yourself whichever side you go. But yeah, we have fertility. All right. So both of you are, are mirroring here. And then we have marriage. All right. So when this person thinks of you, they think long term. They think this is someone that I could spend my life with. I can grow old with. You know, I want to travel the world with. Okay. This person is like, I'm just going to detach and free fall. Free will. Okay. Have faith that all will be well. Everything is going to work out. This is where the both of you are. Okay beautiful energy let's get some love messages from your person all right love messages love messages from your person get a sip of coffee y'all one second love messages from your person Happy Valentine's Day. Please don't feel disappointed with me. Aw, I want to reach out to you. Okay, so you're disappointed in them with something. Again, it could be that inaction, that no contact, that not having heard from them in a while, not knowing what's really going on with them. Are they okay? Are they not okay? You know, what's up? But again, it's something about the material world. They could have just been working a lot. Okay, really, really busy, focused at work, career driven person. Person. <laughs> career driven person. 
Okay. Let us see. Money driven person. Mm, okay. Um, your warmth radiates through your soul. I don't know about that, but your warmth radiates through your soul. You know, being a money driven person, I don't know about that. Career driven, okay. Money driven, mm, there's nothing wrong with money though. It depends on what you need, you're using the money for. Right? So there's really nothing wrong with that either. It's all about your perception, I guess. Okay? And your intentions. Yeah. Alright, so. It says, I think of you whenever I feel lost in my life. Okay? So like I said, whenever you guys are not connected, they feel lost. Okay? Discontent. Only you can see through me. Okay? Everybody else, they see what they want to see. But you see who I am. You see what I am. You see all of me. Alright? So it says, I want to come into alignment with you. The rest is still unwritten. We are both working together in unison, even if you cannot see it yet, okay? My higher self is with you every day. This person is, okay? I like your masculine's energy, okay? They're ready. It seems like they are ready. Yeah, my emotions for you have always been intense. They're ready for whatever comes next. The rest is still unwritten, okay? Nothing will ever keep us apart. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter where, when, how. None of that. Nothing will ever keep us apart. That's what they said. Okay. They want to marry you. They want to be with you. They are very clear on what it is that they feel. Who it is that they want to be with. Okay. Please don't feel disappointed with me. I want to reach out to you. Okay. Okay. I think of you whenever I feel lost in my life. Only you can see through me. My emotions for you have always been intense. Your warmth radiates through your soul. Okay, nothing will ever keep us apart. Let's see. I feel like this person is high key obsessed. So are you. Again, because mirroring. Something here about this mirroring energy. Okay. It's simple, really. Lost. See, I feel lost without you. Okay. I'm sorry. You're my favorite, okay? I hate how much I've hurt you. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused you. You didn't deserve any of it. Aww. Okay? You're my favorite. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It says, you're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share. You're my person. Yeah. Soon. I'm going to contact you soon. Okay? So that's twice double confirmation on that okay jealousy i'm very jealous i can barely stand it okay you're so special you're truly divine i've never felt energy like yours before and i can't get enough oh okay still listening all right i listen to the music you've shared with me it helps me to connect with you although we are apart so whatever songs that are significant or special to the two of you, all right? This person feels like they are healing right now. You're healing. But they look forward to a future with you, okay? It says, I daydream about our future together, going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all. When this person thinks of you, like I said, they think long term, someone that I'm going to grow old with. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. That's the free will. That's the taking a leap of faith. Okay, that is the releasing the fear, the doubt, the anxiety, the worries, right? The pessimism, because that keeps coming up. That is rising above the drama, choosing to see a way around the obstacles and the challenges because you love each other that much and you're willing to work through it. Every relationship takes work, and something like this deserves, you know, the effort. Okay? So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Somebody wants to put the effort in. They want to be what you need them to be. Okay? Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay, with the Queen of Cups. This person wants to move things forward with this Queen of Cups. Like you're so loving, so, so nurturing, so understanding and patient. You're also honest and you speak your truth. You give it like it is and they love that about you. You do not hold back, okay? And this person is currently setting themselves free or being set free from a very low vibrational situation or environment. 
could have been their friends, family members, relationship they were a part of, job that, you know, they felt enslaved to. We have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is something coming towards you in the very, very near future. Okay, someone is taking a leap of faith and doing what it is they feel like is best for them to do. Two of Swords is leading by faith and not by sight. Okay, this person is just going to trust. Spirit says something is coming, something is going to happen, it's going to happen. This person has been very heartbroken without you. Okay, again, because they feel lost. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles energy here. This person wants a brand new beginning or they want to make an offer to you in the physical. But again, they're not sure how you're going to deal with something or how you're going to handle something. All right, so let us see here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. All right, Nine of Pentacles is how you look to this person right now. Very beautiful, very independent, very well put together. Like you take care of yourself, you care about you, you love you. All right, you also take care of the things and the people that you care about. Look at this bucket of strawberries. This is how you look to this person. Very well maintained. Okay, look at these strawberries. They look like whoever was farming these strawberries took great care of them. <laughs> Since they were a seed. Okay, so this person is, is like even grateful for your parents. You know what I mean? This person is grateful for God too because they feel like some of them know that you had a rough upbringing with the Ten of Wands. Or they know that you went from like rags to this Nine of Pentacles. Meaning, you know, maybe you weren't able to do certain things for yourself. And other people really didn't care to do them for you. But here you are now doing all of that. You have everything that you've ever wanted and then some with the Nine of Pentacles. You look damn good. Okay, so, so far we have Libra, Aries, and Virgo energy on the board. Okay, so that could be one of your signs. Or, you know, you could have that somewhere on your chart. This person finds you to be very attractive. It could also be their, one of their uh, signs on their chart. When this person looks at you, you look really good. And you have a nice figure. This body is serious. <laughs> this body is serious that they showing me. Yeah, we got the King of Swords. Okay, this person, this is someone that is, they may come off as a prude to others sometimes. Because they know what they want and what they don't want. They may also be in this energy these days of feeling, looking, acting kind of grumpy. You know, and it could be because, you know, first of all, this person feels lost without you. So whenever you're not around, they don't feel as inspired. You give them like this spark of energy. You make them feel youthful again. So although, no, you may not be child or children, you make them feel youthful, okay? With the star card here, it's like giving some, some vitality or energy back to them. This is like their health. Okay, but also they feel like this is a destined connection. Okay, they feel like you are wish fulfillment for them. This is a message coming in, Page of Wands. Okay, somebody could have said something to you in the past, or somebody did something, and this person may be feeling regretful for having done it or not having done it. It's something that they want to say that they haven't, or something that they said that they wish they didn't. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Okay, all right. So yeah, let us see y'all. We got the Three of Cups and we have the Ace of Cups. I had paused because my son was calling me, all right? So Three of Cups, third party situation, reunion, okay? So like I said, they want to reunite with you. There could be a third party on your side or on their side on somebody's side. You know, there could just be something that they were attached to, the material world, what they were caught up in, something. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's not like you out here hurting. So your materials, your material things seem to be pretty intact, Okay? Now, let's see. So, we have the Seven of Cups, all right? Seven of Cups is confusion, chaos, uncertainty, all right? I feel like, finally, the confusion, chaos, uncertainty, and all that is behind you guys because the Six of Wands is overcoming difficulties and obstacles and anything that was outside of the connection. Again, not something that was inside, but things that were going on outside that was causing confusion had nothing to do with the two of you because as far as the two of you are concerned, you're in love, Two of Cups. To the pinnacles you want to build this person feels like you would definitely be the person to build with because look how you're showing up as the nine of pinnacles the nine of pinnacles and the ten of pinnacles oh yeah of course i will marry that person because that person knows how to manage themselves they know how to manage at home they know how to manage these funds that i've been out here grinding for in this material world and they feel like you are their wish fulfillment okay so, their heart's greatest and deepest desire is you. All right? You're the person that they want to call when they have good news to share, when something bad happens, when they're irritated. 
You just, you know, I'm here in best friend. We have the moon. So you're their best friend and their lover because it may look like, oh, you know, this is just this. But no, it's so much that's there. Yeah, the, the Knight of Cups is so much love that is there between you and this person. They are in love. Yes, you are in love. They want to move this to the next level. Your heart is literally beating for them. It's yearning for them. It's like beating their name. <laughs> like, doom, doom. Doom, doom. You know, their name with every <laughs> doom, doom. Yeah, see the nine of swords and the to the cups. Somebody feel like this is their destiny. This is what's meant to be there happily ever after. There was something that I read and I said the next time I saw the ten of cups and the twin flame reading, I was gonna tell you guys about it because I'm I'm restudying my Bible. So let me go and get it. I do not want to misquote. I'll be right back. One second. Okay. All right, so Genesis chapter nine, verse thirteen. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every, of every kind, okay? So this is like spirit's promise. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on this earth. Okay, so this is like after the flood happened and spirit was like, you know, I won't do that anymore. But this is after they gave an offering and everything. Okay, so I'm going to put my Bible on my lap now. But this is after they gave their offering and everything, um, you know, to, um, to God for, you know, saving them and keeping them, you know, Noah and his people. Thank you for keeping us, right? And so spirit was like, you know, the aroma, the sweet aroma of the offering. So it's something here like that, okay? But when this person thinks of you, they think of like the everlasting promise. And this is something that they feel is destined and meant to be. Yeah, they feel like you guys are equally yoked. Look, six of pentacles. And then look what's underneath the six of pentacles. I can't make it up. Okay, so when this person thinks of you, they think this is a destined connection, star card. They think this is the person that spirit has made for me. This is the person that spirit has created for me. This is how they feel when they think about you. So what they're doing is they're praying to God and letting God handle this situation and navigate it. Because if they were to depend on themselves, they don't know what to do. And this is someone that's all in their mind. This is a thinker. This is someone that is typically able to make sense of everything but this one particular situation right here they seem to not be able to make much sense of because they know you're their person but because of so many things that have happened you know that fear and everything it really stood in the way for a while it really did but with prayer they're continually guided back to you is what i'm getting you know when they pray when they meditate when they search for truth or they seek clarity in the situation they're guided back to you So perhaps we're just telling them, hey, you want to grow? This is the person you need to grow with. Or you want to grow? This is the person you're meant to grow with. Okay? Now, that's not to say they cannot grow on their own at all. Because when you reach the Nine of Pentacles, you have clearly already grown. Then you come together with another Nine of Pentacles and say, hey, you want to make 10? 10 plus? You know? So that's that energy, right? So let's go around. Let's go around. I'm going to use the beach time. So, okay. Hold on. Don't hide. Get over here. Okay. And what is that? My Ace of Pentacles? Oh, yeah. The spirit wanted me to see that. They want to propose. This person wants to propose. Hey, right? I just saw my uh, engagement ring, Ace of Pentacles. This is what they've been thinking about. Okay, let's get into it. So we have the Three of Wands. Lord, let me fix my tire. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. See? <laughs> I tell you guys no lies, man. All right, so engagement ring. Let's see. Three of Wands. The Dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Things come into light. So in the very near future, something is coming to the light. Two of Swords. Mm, this person was felt like they were being used or like they were being charmed or like they were charmed in their situation. Felt like they were enabling someone. 
Because they have witnessed your growth and they know that they can grow with you. See? Look, what did I say? Growth. Coughing. Okay, so endings bring new beginnings. There's going to be growth here. Major growth. Camera, this person, this is what they can't get out of their head about. Something happened in the past. Only take what resonates, okay? And then y'all hear my babies. I'm being summoned. <laughs> ah, I'm about to turn up on Valentine's Day with my two little Valentines. All right. So it's something that comes to this person's mind when they think about you, right? Something from the past that happened. It could also just be pictures. This person is tired of just looking at you through pictures. Notice what's in the background, like a cemetery, right? So in their mind, they could be thinking like something is over. When something ended, you grew. But that's how it was supposed to happen. You were supposed to go down your path and grow. They were supposed to go down their path and grow. Then you guys come back together. Perhaps where you, where you were before, where when you knew each other before, when you met each other before, whatever, you weren't ready. Both parties had to grow. There was growing that needed to happen. But they feel like they have learned from the past and they're ready to make new memories. Yeah, they feel like you're a healthy choice. So in the past, they feel like they were charmed and now they're like, uh-uh, no. I know what a healthy choice is now. You get what I'm saying? It could have just been your energy. Like, somebody could have just been very seductive and, you know, because that's what it's about, being charmed. Empath and narcissist. They're empath and they were stuck with a narcissist or surrounded by narcissistic individuals. And your energy, you're just very chill, you're very laid back, you're very this, you're very that. Maybe it just wasn't giving what they wanted it to give, realistically speaking. Okay, but you focused on yourself. You knew your worth. You took the time to heal. You did your shadow work. You showed yourself an unlimited amount of appreciation because you know who you really are. And it's, I mean, as divine feminines, I, I tell you no lies. That's exactly how it be. It's like, oh, word. You get what I'm saying? And and your twin, I mean, the way that it makes you feel is because it's like, a, especially if you've always dealt with that, you know, coming up where it's like a, you know, it's always the, the the flashy ones or this or that. It's like, okay, fuck that. I'm not doing it. You get what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. I'm not chasing. I'm not doing it. You know, I'm not changing myself into something else to make you like me. I'm not going above and beyond to hunt you down. I'm not doing it. If that's the direction you want to go in, then go in that direction. And so that's what happened with a lot of twins. And then feminine, you bossed up. You glowed up permanently because you put all of that love into yourself. The love that these people that kept overlooking you just seem to just be missing or not want to do you get what i'm saying you was like okay not a problem and put all that love into yourself okay also you know for those of you who went down other paths with your own like soulmates or your own karmics or whatever you know you were giving your love and attention to people who were giving you that love you were giving your love and attention to people who were nurturing your spirit so the same thing goes for that masculine you know that masculine could have been someone that was used to chasing someone and they weren't going to do it they weren't going to do it. You know, they wasn't about to chase you down. You know, it could have been something along those lines. Because they keep saying something about chasing. Chasing, chasing, chasing. Nobody was doing that. All right. So we have the seven of cups here. You are a healthy choice. This person is like, okay, I'm going to make healthy choices. It says in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah, you love yourself. And it shows. Okay. Your person may say that to you. Like, yeah, it's pretty obvious you love yourself. I can tell you love yourself. Or, yeah, you've definitely been taking care of yourself or something. Yes. They can see that. Everybody can see that. Okay. Girl talk. <sighs> so, when this person uh, is confused or uncertain, like I said, they really just want to reach out to you. I know they don't have to be a girl. You, you could be two girls together, two guys together. It doesn't have to be. It could be a girl and a guy. You know, that's what resonates with me. But take it how it resonates with you, okay? Um, but like I said earlier, it's that best friend energy. When something happens, you just want to be like, best friend, get the f Like, that's the way it feels with your twin. You want to call them and tell them how you're feeling, when you're feeling, when something happens. You know, my son teacher, da 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 da, da. You know, you just maybe just want to vent, you know? That's the first person that you want to call. That's how they feel. It says time with friends, okay? Having fun, living in the moment. 
moving on. They could have been talking to their friends, like, hey, you know, this is how I'm feeling, this is how I'm feeling. They're like, you still stuck on that person? Man, why are you still stuck on that person? They don't want to let it go. They can't let it go. <laughs> it's not something that, you know, they were seduced, you know, okay? They could have confided in their friends um, about how they were feeling about you at the time, and their friends were like, hey, man, you know, come out. You worry about this person that's always somewhere else, you know, come out. Da -da 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 -da. Took them out, and they hooked up with somebody, their temptation, third-party interference, and they started dating, you get what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, but yeah, okay? When this person thinks of you, they think of wedding rings, they think of this is somebody that I love unconditionally, but the people around me told me not to do that, or the people around me, da-da-da, well, sir, you know, or, or ma'am, you allowed the people around you to put you in this unfortunate circumstance, and now, again, they're leaving that behind, but that's just the reality of the situation, that's what happened. So we have the moon, the knight of cups, okay? Kisses. Yeah, it says unconditionally loving, okay? Giving and receiving affection, falling in love. All that may have taken place, it is fine and well, but you love them. And you know, I love the comments. I love, <laughs> love the comments where... You're like, oh, you know, you had me all the way up until the player part. Because if he was out in these streets, I don't want it. And this and that. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Actually, that's the one you may need to be wanting. The one that's already played. And, and know for a fact that they're done playing. Because you get the one that ain't played. And they want to settle down oh so fast. And, and be settled down with you and playing. That's definitely not what you want. You get what I'm saying? You want someone that has dated and knows exactly what they want and exactly what they don't you want someone who is mature you want someone who is emotionally intelligent and the only way to get that is with experience just like in life so for you to come in the comments and say oh if they was out here then i don't want it so it's not your reading that solves that so i just i love those comments all right those are the best ones you know, they always get themselves blocked, but I, I love those comments. It's just like, okay, you know, because some things, I swear, y'all, I swear, they really was being funny when they called common sense common sense, all right? So it says, the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances grow and transform your life. Do you see what I'm saying? In order for them to have this brand new beginning with you, something else is going to have to end. They know that they can grow with you. They know that they can transform into something different. They do not want to be a narcissist. They feel themselves becoming something that they don't want to be because of the people that they're surrounded by. So they're like, oh, no, 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 no. You get what I'm saying? Remember earlier, only you can see through me. These people, they see me as what they think I am. I'm not that. You get what I'm saying? You know me. You know the real me, right? And so that's what they love about you. That's what they love about y'all's relationship and connection, that you see the real them, okay? So, heart with the key. Welcome in love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. This person feels like you are the one, okay? You are the one. In order to get to the one, I have to ascend, and I see that now. You know, this person is watching everything that you're doing. This person possibly also watched you as you leveled up and ascended. You reached the star level. So whether this person was to come back or not, you're going to receive your Ten of Cups and your Ten of Pentacles. Regardless, if you are here watching this reading and this is your spread, you are going to have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups regardless of who it comes from. The thing here that we are reading on is that your masculine wants to be the one to give it to you okay yeah we have mirror you guys are mirroring each other that's a mutual desire okay that's the second time that we see something about you two mirroring each other so let us see if you feel guided to answer the phone respond to a text call them today say hello today then do it right sexual union uh-oh <laughs> uh-oh somebody feeling a lot of tension yeah, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Yeah, this person is, is feeling a lot of tension right now. It says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. All right. Ew, nasty. All right, one more. Uh, 
twin flames all right speaking of that there is a members only reading that i'm going to be posting i probably already posted by the time you guys see this go and check it out okay really really quick quick reading but it is more than worth it this is beautiful all right it says your passion ignites eternal love reincarnation passion twin seeking union there's a lot of passion that this person has for you that they want to express this is also how a lot of you are feeling all right so the second that you can go ahead and hop on pop <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know. I know. So if this was your video or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and heavy.